In a warehouse in Belgium sit rows and rows of leopard tanks. Not the Leopard 2 model donated by Western governments to Ukraine. This is an older model, the Leopard 1. Freddy Vasilez wants to sell them, but does not like to be called an arms dealer. He is adamant, stressing to Reuters that he is the CEO of two defence companies that deal in a broad range of activities, such as making sensors for spacecraft. But buying and selling weapons is part of his business too. Yes, we bought this approximately eight uh, years ago in the market. They are available over here, but we cannot use them as is, of course. We need a full retrofit. We have to look at the fire control system. So we really have to make them, uh, bring them back to track so before we can use them in any kind of battlefield. It's these tanks that have brought him into the spotlight as he is engaged in a public battle with the Belgian government over the possibility of sending them to Ukraine. While Ukraine's allies have pledged to send tanks to help Ukraine repel Russia's invasion, Belgium has not joined the group, for one reason above all. It doesn't have any tanks left. It sold the last 50 it had to Veslez's company more than five years ago. And Belgian Defence Minister Ludovic de Donde is reluctant to buy them back. These tanks were sold for a price of 10,000 to 15,000 euros each as they were no longer working. Nothing prevents us from buying them back, but they are not operational. And we're not going to buy them back at unreasonable prices either. And at the moment, there are Belgian companies that make a margin that is unreasonable. If Belgium does not buy back the tanks, Vesles says another country could purchase them for Kiev. Vesles said he had held discussions with several European governments about that option. There are governments on uh, which we have, uh, let's say, currently in discussion. Yeah, uh, I just got uh, recently a, a call from the Ukraine government. So, yeah, yeah, so uh, there's a lot of interest, but that's because the uh, German government gave export licenses. And until today, that was not the case. But there's also the UK government. We're talking to the Swedish government. So there's a lot of governments interested, but we'll have to see what happens now.